Hey there, this is Onion Creature yet again with another video about Nintendo Switch. Specifically, Fast RMX, which is a game that was released on March 3rd exclusively on the Nintendo Switch eShop, making it a launch title. So, uh, this game is pretty great. I think it's pretty awesome. Developed by Shinyan, is how I pronounce it, I'm pretty sure. Uh, or Shinen, I don't know, it's spelled interestingly. And uh, so this game is very similar to another Nintendo franchise you may know of, F-Zero. Uh, it has very futuristic space cars traveling through these futuristic tracks and environments, many different environments. And as the title implies, it is indeed quite fast. And uh, yeah, so that's cool. It's very fast. You can go very fast. So uh, it, it includes a whole lot of different vehicles. Let's say there's maybe maybe 15-ish, I'd estimate, and quite a few different uh, racing leagues or cups, as they might be referred to in Mario Kart terms, um, and which are a collection of three different race courses. And so you got to beat uh, all of those uh, in the three different speed settings. There's subsonic, which is the easiest setting, um, there's uh, supersonic, the medium setting, and hypersonic, which is the fastest setting, I believe. I'm pretty sure about those names. Don't, not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure. And so, uh, yeah, so that's, so that's the game. It runs at 60 frames per second, 1080p, while docked. Um, and it, it can actually run 60 frames per second while well, during multiplayer matches, uh, local multiplayer matches, um, uh, up to four players for the split screen, which is very impressive for a free game on the Nintendo Switch. And um, yeah, so it has a lot of different modes. It has the main mode, which I discussed, the league or championship, I believe it's called. Um, and then uh, there is hero mode, in which uh, your, your boost meter is also your shield meter, and so you you need to conserve your boosts so that you when you, if you hit a wall you don't die or whatever. So that's that's a very difficult mode. Um, uh, so yeah, it's, it's a lot of different fun modes, and then of course there's multiplayer, online multiplayer, up to eight players online, uh, local multiplayer with different switch systems. And then local multiplayer with this one on one switch system, which is compatible with tabletop mode and port dock mode. So um, I found this game to be quite comfortable to play in the Joy-Con grip, um, and also uh, it's, it's it's reasonably acceptable with a sideways Joy-Con that works reasonably well. I haven't tried motion controls that much. I wouldn't recommend them uh, over traditional controller controls, but if that's something you wish to do, then go for it if you want to, they seem to work fine. Um, this game utilizes HD rumble to an extent, uh, in that when you hit things, mostly mostly it's when you hit things, uh, the controller will sort of vibrate, obviously, um, and uh, sort of depending on the intensity of the hit, it can be like sort of a more intense rumble or a less intense rumble. And uh, one thing that was interesting I noticed about the HD rumble specifically is that during stages where there's sort of wind storms, um, controller will almost feel like there's sort of a swirl happening on the controller. It's very interesting. Um, sort of hard to describe. Uh, I recommend trying it out for yourself. Um, the windstorm thing specifically. Uh, so yeah, this, uh, the HD rumble is pretty reasonable. It's actually actually pretty loud for HD rumble, so um, if that's, so I don't know, there's, there's not really anything wrong with that. It's sort of an interesting thing to note that it's actually, it can be uh, pretty loud, uh, just the rumble itself. Um, yeah, so uh, one thing that about, so that's just basically information about the game. And what I think about it is uh, that it has a lot of great content. Um, it's, it's actually, it, it, I found it surprisingly easy to just pick up and play. Um, when I just started, I never, I wasn't really sure what to expect in terms of difficulty, but it was actually quite accessible um, when I started. Not to say that it's easy, but it's decently uh, easy to just pick up. I was able to win some matches with just a bit of practice. Um, it was quite approachable. I appreciated that. Um, 
because I'd, I'd heard that the previous entries were quite difficult, and this one certainly is, but yeah, um, quite approachable as well, so that's good. Um, uh, yeah, so um, I think visually this game's pretty fantastic. It looks really good in handheld mode and dark mode. Um, uh, I tested out four player uh, multiplayer and that did run, it seemed to run around 60 frames per second. So that's cool that it's able to manage that. Um, the music, I'd say, isn't exactly memorable, but it fits well within the context of the game, so that's fine by me. Um, and by memorable, I mean like just memorable in its in, in, in of itself. Um, and probably not tunes that you're going to be humming uh, later on, but that's totally fine. Um, and yeah, I mean, if you like uh, racing games, F Zero type things, and I say. It's an F-Zero clone, but I feel like it does enough to differentiate itself. It has a color switching mechanic in which you switch from orange and blue, uh, depending on the boost pad that's in front of you. For example, if there's blue boost pad, you do blue boost. Orange boost pad, you use orange boost. It's pretty simple, um, but it works well, and it's interesting enough to uh, switch things up from, uh, you know, just being a clone or whatever. And, you know, it obviously it has its differences. Um, and, yeah, it's, it's very fun, most importantly of all. It's, it's very fun. Um, I've gotten a lot of enjoyment out of it. I think my Switch log has, been, has me about, at about 15 hours, and I've 100% in championship mode currently. I'm working on hero mode and doing some multi online multiplayer on and off and local multiplayer on and off. So, you know, it's a lot of great content for the price, good value. Um, I really can't recommend it enough. If you, I'd say if you have to pick up just one indie game um, on the Switch eShop, I'd recommend Fast RMX, just in terms of the, the value and the content that you're getting. Uh, just personally, um, but you know, I, it's it's a lot of fun. It's a great game. Ten out of ten. Recommend. Eight out of eight. All that. Good, good, good game. I like it a lot. It's very nice. Very nice game. It's very fast. It